Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 2nd of 2022, well, it is titled record prominence imaged by solar orbiter. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our sun as taken by the solar orbiter spacecraft, which is there to study the sun. So it actually will image it and we can see the image of it completed here. Now it might not look like you're typically looking at the sun, but that is because we are looking at this in ultraviolet light instead of the ordinary visible light. So it shows some of the higher energy regions on the sun and we're looking at layers probably a little bit higher up above what we typically see as the surface. Now what we see on the surface are dark spots which are sunspots. However, those are areas of higher energy and they energize the upper uh, the uh, upper atmospheres of the sun and cause it to glow. So what we see as bright areas here would actually be darker areas. So we're looking at those very high energy areas and generally sunspot regions. Now we're also looking at a prominence and the prominence off to the upper left hand side is a record prominence in terms of what we have been able to observe. And you can see uh, this material that has been lifted off the surface of the sun by its magnetic field. The magnetic field will lift off the plasma from the surface of the sun and raise it up above the sun's surface. Now sometimes that will fall back to the sun and sometimes it can be expelled out in what we call a coronal mass ejection as the material can be expelled out into the solar system. And it depends on the amount of energy and how fast that material is lifted up. If it is lifted at a fast enough rate, it will be able to escape away from the sun and travel out into the solar system. If it is not lifted as fast, then it will fall back to the sun and kind of rain down in a, a very hot plasma rain on the surface of our sun. Now solar activity comes and goes in cycles and there's primarily an 11 year sunspot cycle which the sunspots will come and go and we're coming out of a minimum just a couple of years ago and approaching a maximum a couple of years from now. So prominences and sunspots will become more and more prominent over the coming years over the next few years. And we should see a lot more of these, which also means we will see more aurora here on Earth as they are caused by the charged particles from the sun when they happen to come in the direction of Earth and strike our atmosphere and cause it to glow that we'll see that green glow that we associate with the aurora here on Earth. And that is all related to the activity that we see in images such as we are looking at today on our sun. So that was our picture of the day for March 2nd of 2022. It was titled Record Prominence Imaged by Solar Orbiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.